change a lot, the new techniques, the new game. It's based like uh, the, the luck I had. I had a chance to train it. the first generation, for the first people who start teaching the Jiu-Jitsu, the first group to the second, the third generation. And that gave me uh, a good comprehension, the time, uh, the evolution, the techniques who change, keep changing the game. And the growth of the sport to, to break from the borders for Brazil to come to America, Europe, all over. The right now it's almost 140 countries doing the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. The speed of the evolution even bigger. You, you see fresh techniques, fresh <coughs> games come all the time. In base, the new generation is the ones who change a lot of the, the game because the new champions come with a different strategy, different techniques, different games who the new generation look to the champions and try to copycat and that's how the game changed a lot. It's very important. Always keep update, always keep follow the these steps of evolution. And that's why I want to go through you guys, you know what I mean, to update, to come and try show you ways to train, ways uh, to improve yourself. I'm going to explain to you the old method and the new method, like the different, how people train. Uh, i give you an example. Uh, the time I used to train, right, I used to train like uh, the method was like, before you come a hammer, you have to start as a nail. I put you in the environment of all these guys, beat you up, and you survive for a start, try a lady, start beat the guys up. That was the philosophy. What happened? Harder the training, uh, better the philosophy. I put you a white belt to train for this brown belt. I want him to meet you a hundred times. Uh, the next time you, he should meet you 60 times, oh, you're getting better. <laughs> that was the method. But the problem, the math was how many spars I do a day. Like the example for me, I was fanatic at the time, I do 40 spars a day. I break in three, three times a day and do like 12 spar, hard spars on the morning. After this, in the middle of the day, late at night. But I never went to competition 100%. I always have injury. You know what I mean? And I train like it. Many, but 85, 9 percent was par. Only 10 percent was techniques. The problem with this old map is great. You're in shape. You're ready to go to war. But the new method is better because it's not how hard you're training, how well you perform the techniques. You base the new generation today uh, training 10 times better. They break down in drills. You know what I'm they do 80% of drills in light, 20% in light technical training. What happens is 100% safe of the injury, and they still drill you enough to perform the techniques well in the competition. You know what I'm and the drills bring the mobility, bring the cardio, and bring your game to a high level. Yes, I think that's right. Why I need to train that hard? and take a chance to my body to injure. It's like I give you an example. We're training box, right? I put you to do a full sparring every day. The guy try to knock you out, and you try to knock him out, and do 40 spars like this. On the end of the day, you're gonna have a headache. Do you understand? You're gonna go home, but when you come to the fight, you, you know what I mean? Any little punch is gonna knock you out because so much punch you got on the on the face, the, the training math is, is changed. The, by understanding that, I change a lot of, I change the way I teach, okay? That's a lot of things I'm gonna teach you guys today.